here's a prime example of when gang stalking goes wrong. When people who illegally have remote access to your phone, who's viewing in as a third party, looking, snooping, and coming up with their own analysis of what they think they have, and then turn around and going on YouTube and presenting it to the public like they really have some valid information, like they're well-trusted and they're not. They're a con. So let's go ahead and get into this. So after... Astro Queen went into my phone and was viewing a message from DoorDash, who wants to be, uh, who wants to act corruptly right now because they were listed recently in a complaint that I published online about them also uh, being used as a third party to harass me and basil. Okay, so recently they decided to run my background check uh, so that they can try and. Um, uh, fire me from the platform from having a criminal charge. So uh, I received an email that they were going to take adverse reaction due to notification of them receiving uh, the background. And there's a charge. So in the email, Astro Queen, I was I was I was reading the email, and Astro Queen, uh, she didn't see this information with the embezzlement. All she saw was they're going to take adverse reaction due to an embezzlement charge. So what she decided to do was take that information, what she saw, and come up with her own twisted, fake fantasy of what the situation is. Uh, very untrustworthy, but let's go ahead and, and see. Uh, let's go ahead. Let me show you what when gang stalking goes wrong, when you go back and try to repeat third party information that you know nothing about. Let's go ahead and clear and debunk this. You may get somebody else's money or you may get... I mean, I hate to say this, and that this sounds, you know, but I feel like you may get justice that belongs to somebody else, or like somebody mistakes you for another person, and you get something that doesn't belong to you. But I feel like it's with the temperance card, yeah, it's divine intervention. So I'm getting an unexpected commission check. She says, I'm getting something that doesn't belong to me, yet I worked for it. So I supposed to get it. So because she read embezzlement on my email, oh, we're going to take adverse reaction because we receive a good background check and it has an embezzlement charge. She takes that. Oh, you receive some money basically trying to say I receive extra money from DoorDash that I'm not entitled to. Like, what are you talking about? This is what was stalking and then trying to do tarot cards and it's not working. Let's continue. Or extra money that's not actually yours, but it come, the check comes to your house or it ends up in your bank account or in your cash app by mistake. She knows I use cash app. So evidently she's watching, specifically stating the banking institution that I use. I use multiple banking. But anyways, this is the issue. This right here. The, the hypocrisy, the, the collusion, it goes on and on. Um, I, feel like it's, I feel like it's their mistake and not yours, but I'm getting an unexpected commission check or unexpected. No. So anyways, so anyways, this is what the issue is. Gang stalking that basically led to me fleeing uh, in a vehicle, not on foot in a vehicle uh, that I was renting. And it led to an embezzlement charge because of the gang stalking and harassment that uh, that was basically uh, them uh, with attempts to actually murder, okay? So this is where the charge led to, and this is where it's cleared. My background is cleared. I don't have a criminal history. And the only criminal uh, offense that they were trying to put on me was the entrapment that they were that they were influencing. It's called ent harassment and entrapment. That is a criminal charge, okay? Yeah. And so what DoorDash decided to do was, uh, I guess, the U.S. government, they own or DoorDash uh, lawfully, whatever. So what they decided to do was go into my background and put, oh, these charges are pending. Though so these charges are clear. How was this? How how did I have a background check ran for the same company in March that cleared? And all of a sudden it's still pending. Uh, almost two years later, two and a, it is over two years later. The charge went in in February of 2021. Okay.
I don't know why it says file date. The file date isn't even correct. Oh, maybe because they changed it. They tried to they change it from a, a felony to a misdemeanor. I'm not really sure uh, because uh, the charge went in in February 2021. I don't know why it says June. I don't know what that is. But anyway, this could be the last date of the court. The I don't know if that was the last day of the court hearing. I don't I don't know. But anyways, I don't have that. So uh, all that uh, you received payment at Denver, that didn't know I didn't embezzle anybody my fucking money. And technically that money is mine. As you can see. Yes, I use excuse me. I use cash app, as you can see. And she knows that. Why? Because she's a paid gang stalker, unlawfully stalking and watching case closed.